Round two underway in that first round according to copy of Box Fury. Oh, he's knocked down. He's knocked down. I've been boxing for years, but the biggest fight of my life was dealing with my daughter's situation. There's nothing I can think of in life that tops that. She was born with a heart condition. It's been something she's dealt with and we've dealt with her entire life. And it was a serious heart condition, but there was always a plan. And I remember I was at school and my dad came to pick me up with sunglasses on and I could see he was crying. I'm like, what's wrong? And then he tells me when we get in the car, he's like, they said, they said Kennedy's gonna die, so just make her comfortable. That was the worst news ever. Like, that was my little sister. Seeing your child in so much need, her chest is open with a little film on it, and you can see her heart pumping, and it's like, it's nothing I can do. That kills you. We really felt that Children's Hospital of Philly dropped the ball on us. That time was the first time we were faced with what our trusted medical professional said was the end. They took our hope, there was no other tricks in the bag. So then coming to Pittsburgh, they thought about her situation and what they thought they could do. It was like they gave it back to us. You know, I grew up in Philly from, you know, day one, and I went to the Navy, came back with, and had a family in Philly. Now it's even different, the stakes are higher. It's children I gotta protect, and myself, and my wife. We had a full life, we had a house, we had everything in Philly. You know, when we moved here, it was temporary, but we came and we fell in love, and so we love Pittsburgh. Where we are. And the former two-time IBF Cruiserweight champ, Steve Cunningham. Cunningham strong, <laughs> and that's what you gotta call him. What he learned in the military really helped him. Now, now move up in the rankings for the winner of this fight. Absolutely, it's a very exciting fight. Here we go, Kenny, you know, you see Mansoor coming out. He never gave up his Steve boxing Steve. career, even though he was looking for a doctor, or somebody to take care of his daughter. I'm a protector, I'm a papa bear, man, you know what I mean? I will, I will go to war for, you know, for mine, you know, just as any father would. Yeah, he chose to go the other way. Check with this hand now. At the age of 42 years old, he's still an active fighter. He believes strongly that any professional athlete who loves the sport that they come from should be able to give back. This is a guy that has his PhD in boxing and he's able to teach young people, not just necessarily people that want to get in the ring, but people that want to get fit, people that want to learn how to defend themselves. And there's a lot of young ladies as well in their gym. It is very important to set a standard for the young ones that are watching you. And Steve's really woken up here in this fourth round. Fighters I grew up watching were uh, Meldrick Taylor, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard. Just watching them, you know, on television. And it's also crazy that being in that boxing world, I got to meet these guys. Get off that line, Steve. Break, break. I'm in the gym, man, all the time. Well, I got my boys, you know, Steve Jr., Cruz, and the other athletes that we train. They're looking at me, you know, they're watching me, and you know, I can't be slacking, so I have to show and prove and do what I'm telling them to do. My dad has been training me since I was a baby. I've been in the gym since I was in diapers. And the strategy to boxing is just taking your time and picking picking where you want to get in and get out. It's not about hitting and not getting hit. It's swimming without getting wet, that's what we call it. From there, pop it from there, step that leg in. Boxing keeps me focused. Yeah, boxing keeps me, keeps me on task. As a child, man, we soak up our environment. Because you have to see other people that's aspiring or have done what you want to do. Nope. Just missed. Steve Cunningham may be the third toughest in his family behind his daughter, Kennedy, that had the heart transplant. And let's not forget his beautiful wife. He does not sign a deal without talking to his wife. That's a great foundation. You know, Steve's got to focus more on the straight punches, focus on the jab in the right hand, and not getting caught up in situations like... Right I had a huge fight schedule. At that time, Steve's in training camp. Should we cancel the fight? Like, obviously, mm -hmm. we're distraught. And it was a big question. Should we go on with this fight? And so Steve was like, I'm going to do it. I have to do it. All for your winner by unanimous decision, 
and new USBA heavyweight champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Steve U.S.S. Cunningham. It was a win we needed. Like, we just got dealt the biggest blow. Like a metaphor for life. Like, yeah, this was a knockdown, but get up, you know? Yeah. Like... Yeah. Keep going. We had just been knocked down so severely, but yep. we got up. <laughs> he gets a big hug from his precious daughter, Kennedy. <laughs> that picture is worth more than a thousand words. We have faith. I'm happy about having a new heart because I can run around, play, and just do like normal kid stuff. <laughs> and our love made us tell these doctors that said, hey, this ain't gonna work. Spend the best time you can with it while you got it. Our faith wouldn't allow that to be the last save. That faith took us to Pittsburgh. <laughs>